Hey y'all, so yeah, this is gonna be like a chit chat video and a, a haul mixed in one and also some updates. So first off, don't mind my big pink lips. <laughs> um, I'll talk about why they look like this in a minute. But um, yeah, I wanted to give some shout outs to um, some of the people on Instagram and also on Facebook. I'm gonna go with Instagram first because um, that's pretty much where I post a lot of, you know, my personal life is basically on Instagram and Facebook. So if you guys are not following me on there, you should because I post there more than I post on YouTube. So, um, yeah, if you guys know that, well, if you are following me on Instagram, then you guys know that um, a few days ago or rather a few nights ago, I had an asthma attack and it was just like, uh I haven't had one in a long time so it kind of caught me off guard and I kind of forgot I mean, that's why I'm breathing funny now but I kind of forgot what my triggers were and one of my triggers is um, flat irons like <laughs> I can't really deal with flat irons in like a closed room or the smell of a flat iron or hair you know not necessarily burning but just the smoke coming from the flat irons is a major trigger for me I used to have to tell my daughter you know turn that flat iron off or please open the windows or something because I can't breathe and she would be all the way on the other side of the house and it was just it still would affect me really really bad so I did not have any pumps I know I'm supposed to have my pumps but I didn't have any because I haven't really gone to the doctor for a long time and again I haven't had an asthma attack in a very very long time so I just kind of like forgot all about it until it happened the other night and the flat iron I was flat ironing this hair that I'm rocking right now this hair is really really old I this is like my first Eva Wigs wig like I don't know I guess I'll annotate here as long how long I've had it I tried to sell it in its in the state that it was in before and nobody purchased it so I was like you know what since nobody's gonna buy it I'm just going to play around with it and see what I can do with it and so I went and I bleached it and you know did all of this extra stuff to it and then I flat ironed it and that's when I mean the fumes from the bleach also affected me but it wasn't bad so I was just I just continued and once I got to the part that I was ready to flat iron, it was just like, whoa, hold on. You can't breathe. And then, I don't know if you guys, some of you probably do have asthma, but it doesn't hit you like, especially when this type of trigger, it doesn't hit you like immediately. It really affects you like later on. For me, I try to control my breathing as much as possible. So, but that wasn't working. That wasn't working for the rest of the night. I was just like, oh my god, I'm trying to catch my breath, I'm trying to remain calm. Because one of the things that you have to do when you have asthma is, you know, remain ridiculously calm or it could get worse. The more you panic, the worse it gets. So I just like tried to take a shower and just lay down, you know, turn on the AC, try to breathe and relax, but that wasn't working. So I told hubby, I said, you know, you gotta take me to the emergency room, something I dread doing. I hate being sick and I hate being in the emergency room, but um, yeah, so he took me and it was only there for two hours because out here, the emergency room is quick, especially when you have asthma, they see you right away, they don't play. So as soon as I got in, they gave me my, um, my treatments. I got about three treatments and I was breathing. I was, I was great when I left, so I got my, prescriptions and I'm waiting for my daughter to come home so she could go and fill them for me but yeah that's like an update on what I've been going through um it's been about two days now and I feel a lot better I'm still like I'm not sick and I can breathe but it's like short breaths so especially when I'm talking like if I'm not talking if I'm just relaxing I can breathe just fine but once I start talking it's just like Okay, you gotta take a breath and then, you know, start up again. So, yeah, that's the update on that. But I'm, I'm doing better. Like I said, I'm about to get my um, my pumps. I got a refill and everything. So, you guys don't have to worry about that. And I'll probably scare some of you. But, um, yeah, asthma is just, like, no joke, for real. 
I, I'm mad at myself for not, you know, getting my pump earlier, but that's neither here or there. I'm good now. So, oh, y'all like my hair? Did you, do you like how it came out? I do. I love how it came out. The color, everything, like, love it. So I might sell it or I might keep it. I don't know. It's just so pretty. I might just keep it. Anyway, so I wanted to give a shout out. And the reason why I told you, tell you guys that story is because I wanted to give a shout out to some of the people on Instagram. I got my phone right here that as soon as they saw me post that I was sick, they went ahead and commented. You know how some people just scroll past and keep it moving. These people actually commented. So first is going to be Pretty Princess. I mean Pretty Princess. <laughs> Princess Pretty MA. Love you sis. Thank you so much for your well wishes um nicole underscore yr shirley 70 grad girl 1002 miss brie nicole hey boo <laughs> i can be underscore aura i love her she's always commenting on my pictures all the time she's just like all y'all everybody i'm pretty much naming always comments on my instagram and my facebook uh, Miss Curled underscore naturally 40. Uh, Boop the Gemini. Shani Diva 313. And I will be leaving all of these people's links down below in the description box. So you guys can go ahead and click on their uh, tags and follow them. They are awesome people. Very good people. Yeah. Boop the Gemini. I said that already, right? Shani Diva 313. Tiffany Doll 37. That's my sis. She been down with me. Well, I've been down for her too for years now. Um, the one Miss B.I.C. Love her. L. If I'm messing up your name, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I definitely have them annotated here as I'm saying them. Um, L.S. Well, L. Slade 0313. Misha Loves Beauty. Susie Licious. And yeah, uh, Kamita, that's my girl from that. I know her like, you know, we grew up together or whatever. Um, Shirley 70. Did I say that already? Oh. <laughs> Oscar. R-O. What? Oscar. <laughs> O-C-M-C-H. That's my boo too. He's a celebrity makeup artist here on the, on Instagram. So check him out as well. And let me see. So when I posted that, I was feeling better. Those same people hit me up and said that they were glad that I was feeling better. So shout outs to you guys, which is Mommy, to Tali, uh, Miss Sadlers, to you. And yeah, that's, oh, and Just Me 29. She said her baby suffers from asthma as well. He's seven. So yeah, shout out to him. You know, prayers to him because it's harder when you're younger to go through asthma it's it's even worse because it's hard to control your breathing at that age and they don't really comprehend what's going on so yeah i just wanted to shout out you guys and everybody on facebook also thank you for the well wishes i love all y'all and i really do appreciate everybody that comments on my videos everybody that comments on facebook and instagram that's why i try my hardest to um Show my hardest to respond to everybody like all the time regardless of what because it's only right so let's get into this haul and let you guys see what i got so i went on here sisters.com and i purchased a few things that i really really wanted that i really was looking for they don't have it in my stores so i was like forget it i seen that um hair sisters.com is also selling beauty products so i purchased this shimmer lights shampoo blonde and silver and that's what I use to um, kind of tone down the yellowness in my wig. And I'll be right back. And my kids came home and I told you guys I wanted my daughter to go to the pharmacy for me to get my prescription filled. So yeah, I got this to kind of tone down the yellow in this hair. And it really did a really good job. So it's not brassy and it's really good. So I got that. And this one is the 8 ounce jar. They, I think they have a bigger one than this, but only a drop of this, honestly, is all you need. 
so yeah i needed this and i got it yes okay so everything else from hair sisters like i said they selling beauty products so i'm like what <laughs> I wanted this for the longest. This is the Ruby Kisses 3D Face Creator. You can see that. And this one I have in the shade, well, in level 16, which is, I believe, the darkest one. And I wanted this to contour because a lot of my contour powders are not dark enough for me. I really wanted it, you know, a little darker. But, yeah, so I got this. And I already used it. I used this side. For my contour it did a good job so i just got to keep practicing more on contouring and i also wanted the lighter one i think this is the lightest shade here this is level nine i'm gonna like check around to see if they have a lighter one because i really want a lighter one i don't know but this one is level nine so yeah they have these and i'll try to annotate the prices that i got everything for so yeah i mainly went to uh hairsisters.com for this so well no I'm, I'm gonna be honest i went there for this <laughs> and i saw these other things so i was just like let me just add a few things to my cart um i picked up this ruby kisses matte lip lacquer and that is what i'm wearing on my lips right now so, so i was like i wanted to play with it so that's why it's on my lips right now and this one is fiesta and it has the cute, the little doe foot applicator. And yeah. Really bright pink. I love it. It does um, dry to a matte finish. And I, I actually love it. I don't really want any other colors. I just want it pink. So that is all I picked up from hairsisters.com. And I'll try to leave the links down below as well so you guys can check them out. So I also picked up now, I have a video coming up on these items. Well, on one of the items that I got from MAC. Just a little small haul from MAC because MAC is expensive and yeah, um, no. <laughs> so Ivy, you guys are familiar with Ivy. I think her name is Ivy Deer now. Um, she did a review on this MAC foundation. Again, I'm going to have, like, I did a demo and everything. It's just I have to edit it and all that stuff. But, um, yeah, so she did a demo on this MAC Pro Longwear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation. So I picked one up, and my shade is NW45. So I just wanted to show you what it looks like. It looks just like this. Pretty small, but um, a little goes a long way, so you will have this for a really, really long time. This is 8.84 ounces, so that up from MAC, and you'll see it in my um, video coming up. I love it. So I always wanted the Pro Longwear Paint Pot. Uh, this is my first one. That's also my very first MAC foundation. Um, yeah, the only thing that I ever really had from MAC was like an eyeliner and the Fix Plus spray. <laughs> so I kind of wanted to just splurge a little and buy the stuff that I really, really wanted. So I got a paint pot and this one is a uh, painterly and that's what that looks like. Guys, of course, you're familiar with it because everybody on YouTube. My lips are going to kind of dry. <laughs> Everybody on YouTube has it. So that's what that looks like. Just a nice nude um, color. Nice nude base rather. It's a base for your eyeshadows. So moving along. I also picked up some colored rain lippies. You guys are familiar with my Instagram. You saw I already posted swatches on my lips for these. So this one is berry rain and it's this beautiful purple you guys saw this in my last video this is the lipstick that i was rocking and of course this is the packaging really cute and this is what it looks like really nice says colored rain on it and it's just a really pretty purple again you guys saw this on my instagram you already saw swatches of it so like 
I love it. It does stay on. Um, a quick review is don't put too much because it will crack on you. And honestly, I don't like to put it on my lips just as they are. I definitely want, um, I definitely put like Vaseline on my lips first and then I try it. So I've had it for, you know, maybe over a little over a week now. So I kind of tested it out on different things. Put it on my lips, just regular. My lips are cracked. As soon as it dried, like within that hour, it just looked nasty. So I tried it again with the Vaseline and it held up way better than it did without Vaseline. So I'm still trying different things. I have some um, other things to try with it, like the e.l.f. Lip Primer. I want to try it with that next and see if that makes any difference as well. So yeah, this is another one that I picked up and this one is called Sugar. And this is a nude um, lip paint by Colored Rain and I will swatch it for you. So that right there is Sugar, really, really nice. This one cracks too a lot, like this one cracks the most. And again, just moisturize your lips before you put it on and you shouldn't have any problems. So that is the end of this video, you guys. Um, if any of you are um, interested in this unit, let me know. Um, I don't know, I might sell it, I might not, I don't know. I actually, oh no, I got lipstick on my teeth. Not cool, Donna, not cool. Look at this shit. <laughs> Whatever. So, yeah, that's the end of this video. And, um, yeah, if you, again, are interested in anything that I showed you, all of the links will be down below. And you guys can email me if you're interested in this unit. Again, I don't know if I'm going to sell it or not, but I love it. I, I just like the outcome. So, I might just keep it. I don't know. Email me. Whatever. I'll talk to you all later. Bye.